Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. There have been a few remakes and attempts at telling a new side of Ira Levine's classic novel Rosemary's Baby. Writer-director Natalie Erica James takes a crack at this world by taking the prequel approach with Apartment 7A. It will be streaming on Paramount Plus and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Now, if you remember the original film, you may remember Rosemary meeting Terry Gianofrio down in the laundry room at the Branford apartment. Terry was taken in by Minnie and Roman Castavet due to falling on hard times. In Apartment 7A, she's now played by Emmy winner Julia Garner, who tells her side of the story. Terry was an aspiring actress and dancer hoping to make it big in New York City. It's 1965, and she needs that next paying gig to pay the rent. That all comes to a halt when she falls in rehearsal and breaks her ankle. It's a pretty bad injury, but she's willing to do whatever it takes to keep working. Now, w Ruth Gordon won the Oscar for playing Minnie Castavet in Rosemary's Baby, and now Diane Weist plays the enigmatical neighbor who offers up a room at the Brantford so Terry can get back on her feet. There's something off about them, Minnie and her husband, Roman. But Terry trusts them and sees this as a new opportunity to get her life back. That is until she gets unexpectedly pregnant. She questions whether this means the end of her career or what's next for her. Her friendly new neighbors become a little too friendly when they find out that she's expecting. Roman Polanski's hit film has been a horror masterpiece that has really stood the test of time, so there's been naturally a few attempts at that same success, from a TV miniseries with Zoe Saldana to being an influence on the latest season of American Horror Story. I think that prequels to horror films rarely work, as it's really hard to recapture that magic of the original, as you either try to demystify the unknown, unexplainable horror elements, or you're tempting to just kind of have a carbon copy of the source material. Apartment 7A falls into that second trap. Now, its audience primarily will be Rosemary's Baby fans, who are familiar with this territory surrounding the Castavets and their devil-worshipping neighbors in the Bramford. Apartment 7A doesn't attempt to give them a new backstory or even dive into this world, but rather just plucks out another one of their victims. Terry Gianofrio is a familiar character, so fans going into this will already know how this film ends. Now, I hate to say that as a spoiler, but rather to bring up the fact that there's no that there's just this lack of horror or surprise element here. Julia Garner is a really strong actress who is playing a very different type of character than what we know from her out of her work on Ozark. She has this really soft exterior, but then makes Terry really strong inside and not afraid to stand up to the sleazy theater director or take drastic measures in dealing with the cast of Ets. Diane Weiss is not trying to replicate uh, Ruth Gordon's portrayal, but really make uh, Minnie her own and give her that, you know, larger than life personality. She really lets her voice flourish and move all around the scale. I think she sounds like she's doing a Carol Kane impression. I mean, she's chewing up the scenery and having a great time at it. Apartment 7A falls flat across the board, proving that most horror prequels are just unnecessary, especially when they come decades after the original film. Red director Natalie Erica James should have told this from a very different angle versus just giving us another cast event victim that leads directly into Rosemary's Baby. I'm giving Apartment 7A 2 out of 5 ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. Are you excited about Apartment 7A, or would you rather just go back and watch Rosemary's Baby? Leave me a comment, and then go to my website, paulstripthemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Apartment 7A. This is Paul's trip to the movies.